last year I got so tired of playing through games on stream by myself. It just mentally it just started like bugging me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, on the other hand, doesn't because I think I have someone to do it with. Hey man, I'm glad to be that guy for you. I'm glad to be here for you, man. What the? F do I have to talk to him as Azora? Yeah, I guess so. I do really enjoy doing this. Uh, so it's just, fish shit it is that. really easy to to like bounce off of one another. Oh, for sure. I I, I do like doing my my solo streams, but that's more so because it's like uh. I'm kind of just fucking around, right? Yeah. And it, and it it forces me to use chat as as something to bounce off of whenever I do have someone in chat. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, like, I'm so glad that someone was in my chat to ask about my my lore. That, yeah. That was, that was a good that was a good bit that I was able to turn into something. Yeah, I mean, it's always great whenever you have someone in chat to be able to do something like that with. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I had I had people come inspect my apartment today. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, they have to do things like make sure that my furnace is on, mm -hmm. make sure that the the filters are clean, make sure that my fire extinguisher is uh, up to code. Yeah. Um. And I hate when they do this. Um. You know, more Kylo. I'm sure I've mentioned it on here before. I have paranoid schizophrenia. I hate when people are in my apartment without me knowing. I understand that they have to. I understand that it's their job. Yeah. I hate it. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. It makes me feel so uneasy. I get home today, and the first thing I do is I, like, check everything to make sure they didn't, like, touch any of my stuff or, like, hurt the cats. Yeah. Or anything. They came through last week, and they were like, hey, your apartment's dirty. And I'm like, I know. I, I like, you, left trash out. You don't have and to I have tell mats. me. Like I know, oh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. So I like cleaned up, and they were they came through again today, and it, it's all good. Yeah. But uh, I put, I put a big so like you can open Notepad on your computer, and then press Control, and then scroll up to zoom in. Mm -hmm. You know, make it make it bigger. I wrote like, please don't rig my apartment to kill me. I have like real bad paranoia. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> on my, and I put it up on my computer monitor just in case they had to come through my uh, office. Which, like, I'm sure they didn't, mm -hmm. but it was still just, like, I was like, just in case. <laughs> yeah. I don't want them to fill me with bombs. Have you seen that TikTok? No, I don't think so. Oh, shit. <laughs> this well, guy who's, like, like, disoriented now. Like, where the fuck was oh, I? That was fucked up and weird, yeah. Like, where? There's this guy that made a video that's, I? like, uh, every time I go to the doctor, I have to tell them not to put bombs in me. And he's, like... I'm not trying to put bombs in you. That's what the last guy said. And then he tried. Then he tried to give me these uh, schizophrenia meds, which I know is just code for bomb delivery pills. <laughs> he's, like, he's trying to take my, my wife biggest and fear kids is my, away. <laughs> my biggest fear is that they're gonna fill me with bombs. <laughs> it's just like I, I'm like I know that he's being facetious, but I have had that thought. Yeah. My my paranoia it, my paranoia is luckily subsiding. So that's that's the thing with paranoid schizophrenia is the I think that's with a lot of schizophrenia is that symptoms can come and go mm -hmm. not super quickly, but they can they can arise and fade relatively often. Yeah. And so like because of the situation that I was in with my relationship last year. I think that's like what kicked it off was just like all this fucked up shit. And now that I don't have to yeah. worry about things as much, it's mm -hmm. like not as bad. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I was like the maintenance people are going to come in here and fill my room with bombs. <laughs> it's like, so, so obviously not something that's going to happen, but it was just so yeah. annoying to think about. Yeah. Well, I, I have like a little bit of a fear of like someone like breaking in and taking like all of our stuff, especially because like the house that we live in has like um, windows like in the basement, mm -hmm. and so they're more like ground level. 
Like that was one of the biggest things about like. No, I know. I know what you're talking about. I know yeah. what you're talking about my family. My family home had those where it's like, where you can see them from outside, kind of, but they're like on the ground and they lead into a room in the basement. Yeah. Oh no no no! These are like full size windows. Hmm. Um. No. One of the biggest things, uh, specifically, this was back whenever we lived in an apartment. We had this big sliding glass door. Mm -hmm. and the uh, lock mechanic on it was like this rod that would be from like one side to the other. Like okay. the worst security lock for it. And it's like, if someone's going to break in or something, like that's not going to stop them. Like, yeah, yeah. Like you just throw a rock through it. Like it's a big glass sliding door. I... I, that's like the worst thing that I hated about living in that apartment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm lucky. I only have to worry about my front door. Yeah. And I have a, uh, I have like a bar that goes under my doorknob and then mm. like gets pushed up against the floor. So like you would have to like break my door to yeah. open it whenever it's barred. And then I live on the second floor. So like someone would have to, use a ladder to climb 10 feet up through my window or, mm -hmm. or like break down my door to get in. So yeah. like, that makes me feel a lot better. It really, yeah. it really puts my mind at ease some nights. Yeah, if I ever am to go on to live in an apartment or even just another house, uh, I do not want to live with one, with one of those sliding doors. Yeah, no, definitely not. Like definitely not. windows, it's windows are one thing in which you can't like, stop that from being like a thing yeah. but like no I, I i don't like sliding doors man like, yeah it, i know it, what you mean i know what you mean yeah and i had to deal with that for like 10 years <laughs> yeah I, I i would be really really fucking like schizoed about it probably yeah. I, I i i am just now like finding it easier to be normal about my current living situation and can't imagine something where it's like there's a big thing where it's like hey break me and you can come kill the resident yeah i i have a little bit of the same thing with like our garage doors because i'm like oh shit what if someone like somehow you know pulls them open or something but like it's yeah, not yeah. it's not like as big of a deal because at least like they can't just like you know break it unless they like had like a fucking bomb you're gonna fill me with bombs. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. I get it. I get it. It's it's something that's a little bit whack and a little bit crazy to yeah. like to like even think about. But you know, some sometimes that's just how the brain works. Yeah, for sure. I I'm right there with you. I yeah. My my brain is whack sometimes. All right, uh, I think there's seven eggs in total, I guess. Yeah, I, here, here. I, I don't remember. Here's this. That every single human being is afraid of. No. My oh. biggest fear is that the doctor is going to be like, hey, I'm going to cut you up and I'm going to fill you with bombs. I don't want to be filled with bombs. <laughs> and my doctor keeps going, hey, what are you talking about? I'm not going to fill you with bombs. Yeah, right. That's what the last guy said. And then he tried to fill me with bombs through some schizophrenia medicine. I know that's just code for bomb delivery pills. Stop <laughs> trying to fill me with bombs. <laughs> Stop trying to fill me with bombs. <laughs> I love <laughs> Yeah, right. That's what the last guy said. And then he tried to fill me with bombs with something called schizophrenia medication. I know that's just code for bomb delivery pills. It's it's so fucking good, dude. I love that video. <laughs> <laughs>